Okay, here we are around the back. Just kind of showing you just the way the paint and the body, very, very, very straight down the sides, if you can see that. It's got tow package down here below. You also can see the sensors for the backup. I don't know if it uh, can run biodiesel, but that, that's been on there. See there closer. This is an Excursion Limited uh, 2003. You can see little, little tiny, well, that was little, little light, little scratches, little chips that have been touched up on it. Just various small stuff. There's a little, little chip there. You can look down there on the lower bumper. If we look down the side here. This here is a little loose. Probably just need to take that from the factory. They put a double back strip tape there. Probably just need to peel that back and reattach that. You can see a couple little scratches, little chips. Right here are probably the worst scratches on it altogether. They might be able to buff out. Little chips here on the, on the door edge. Running boards are real nice. You look at the sides. There's no dings on it. I mean, it's it's super clean down the side. I don't have the the memory numbers for that. Um, actually, maybe if I look in the owner's manual, it might be there, but I don't think so. You can look too, and it has uh, Michelin tires on it. Those aren't cheap. LTX uh, MSs and they're LT265, 75, 16s. And it's also got locking hubs up here in the front which a lot of people are looking for those here's another little little chip here you can walk around the front one thing that I uh, did do on the front bumper I didn't do a perfect job but it looks a lot better right here on top of the the bumper and I got pictures of it the paint was coming off right here, a little bit right here and here. So I, I repainted it, got some color painted, uh, color match paint and got pretty close. It's not perfect, but it, it looks good. It looks better than the, the paint that was peeling off there. I just wanted to show you that. If you look down here on this side, again, it's, it's laser straight when you look down it. Hopefully you can see that. The hood is real nice. You can kind of see a chip. That's kind of the biggest chip that's on top of the hood. You got to remember it's a 2003, so it's, you know, 13 years old. But they did take nice care of it. There's no dings on the side here. You can see just see real light, real light, light scratch right there in real light. Again, if you probably buff that, it'd probably come out. There's another little tiny one there. But it's just, you know, just from being used and stuff. And you can see the running board again. The lights work down there. Right there. <clears throat> again, the tires are fairly new. I think they're within the last six months, actually. Got plenty of tread. You can see this one here is a little loose. We'll go ahead and start it up. You can hear it run back here. You know, it sounds like a 7.3 diesel. It doesn't blow smoke or anything. I really like these rigs. Um, I love this one being a limited. Uh, they don't have the chrome bumpers or the chrome grill. It's just a nice looking rig. I, I love uh, dark green. And I... Especially like this because it's it's a 2003 and it's the last year of the 7.3 power stroke diesel. Um, I mean that's it's just a great motor. We'll pop the hood here. I'm trying to do this with one hand. There we go. Nice and clean underneath. You can hear it running. 
AC Delco batteries. You can see the light working up there. Hopefully this will zoom in for you so you can see the 7.3 sticker. Here, one thing up here in the front that you can see, too, it hasn't been any accident damage, very clean. You look over here on the other side, still original Ford fenders, you can see the Ford emblem there. Still see the body buck tag, Ford emblem. Someone's taking nice care of it, it's, it's a great rig. Just a nice clean rig. Um, a lot of power. If you already know these engines, uh, it's you know 73, so uh, they're just tried and proven, bulletproof. And right here's the fuel emissions too. If you live in California, that way you have the information that you need. So here's the interior. You know, very clean. Look across the dash there. You look at the seats. You know, very little wear. Limited edition. Console's nice. Has new floor mats up front. You know, the, the carpet's nice. You can see a few little tiny little stains. Nothing major. You know, just little little stuff like this. You know, also the back seat. The door panels are in great shape. There's that DVD player I was telling you about. Uh, but it's it's actually not... We haven't been able to get it to power up, so I'm not sure exactly. Rear air conditioning control. You know, the headliner is actually very clean. Rear seat. Actually, if you can hear those helicopters, we have an airport uh, with the Army base there. Those are Blackhawks up there flying. Only about $13 million a piece. Makes this look like a bargain. They've actually let me take pictures of some of my cars there. I've got, I'm really into military uh, vehicles and stuff and uh, had a Shelby I took down there one time and took photos. You can just see the cargo area is nice. Walk here to the other side. Again, the seat's nice, door panels. One little stain right here. I don't know if that would come out. Here's the driver's side. You can see the driver's side seat's nice. Power seat, heated seat. Very clean. Mm -hmm. Hey, here we are again inside of the 2003 Excursion. Just wanted to kind of see, uh, show you the dash and all that stuff working and just some of the components uh, and stuff that options it has and things. So we'll go ahead and start it up. We'll take it out for a little spin, and I'll just explain stuff as we're, we're driving. But you can see all the all the gauges going on there. No check engine lights or anything like that. It only has 114,517 miles, so 114K, which is low. This is a 2003, as I explained before. Um, and it's a 7.3 diesel, not the 6.0. Uh, 7.3 is kind of the holy grail of Ford diesels. Um, so let's take it out for a little spin. Now if you can see here on the, right here on the indicator, something happened and the little dial is showing over there in low. So um, that probably needs to be taken apart. I know there's a little spring and a clip. I've seen it on some other rigs, but something happened to it. Here, if you look at the gauges again, you can see the fuel gauge works. Oil pressure is excellent. It's got a trans temp option up here, which is actually nice to have, especially if you're pulling. Uh, temperature gauge is perfect. It's also got built-in tack. Um, it also has uh, cruise control. Let's see if I can make it work. Yep, cruise control's on right now. If you look in the dash, you can see that little green light there, and it's working. I'll go ahead and shut it off. There you go. 
rear defrost. It's actually got you. You can turn the parking light or the the uh, parking beeper thing off the, on the back. Okay, up here you can see it's got information center. Uh, this is just what the uh, fuel mileage has been. 17.9, 290 left to go. Got rear control for the AC in the back. Also up here, uh, it's got built in. You can program it to your garage door opener. These little vent buttons right here open the back side windows back there in the cargo area. So they, they vent out in the back. Then of course, you know, sunglass compartments and stuff, nav lights. So it's nice equipped. Also on the radio, I didn't mention either. It, it's got a, a CD changer in it, six disc as well. You just load them in there. And so it's just a nice, nice rig and uh, just, just a nice driving car.